welcome to our microprocessor group project we are from group one so on this project we are simulating a vending machine so in this system uh, for this system we are using an AVR 644p microprocessor and a development board which includes uh, and we are using the four seven segment LEDs 12 push buttons uh, one to eight eight dip switches and some output LEDs to show or uh, show the output of the system. The way the keypads are designed is the left column shows A, B, C, D, and these are one, two, three, four, five, six, and the middle down button is for refund, and the right corner bottom button is for OK to accept. And the dip switches act as the number, as the amount of money that's put into the system. So for example, there's 1 to 8. Let's choose a number. Let's choose 3. So 3 ringgit is inside the system. So if we want to choose a drinks, for example, let's choose 3B. So if we choose 3B, then if you press OK, it shows the output. That means the vending machine just gave out one of the drinks from 3B, your selection. So, and one ring it reduced from the total amount of money available. Now, for example, let's choose another one. Let's choose 4B. Now, the B already stayed, so no problem. And if you press OK, it give out the output as well and the total number it decreased by one so you only have one ring it left now if you try again for 4b it shows that no drinks is available that's because beforehand we, uh, we already simulated it many times and right now only one drink was available for 4b and as we tried again as there's no more drinks available it showed that there is no more drinks available for 4b and one other good thing is our program is uh, this part of the program is written in EEPROM that means that even if you take out the power it will still remember how many drinks was left in the system so even if you reset for example we are pressing the reset button and let's give a money for example 3 again oh, let's choose 2 2 and if you press the same thing 4 B then it shouldn't it should say that there is no more drinks available and as you can see if we press ok it says no more drinks available so it remembers the system and to show that it actually works we can try another one for example uh, one C one C and if you press ok you'll see the output so it can give out the output properly regarding the refund button in our system as you can see here this is the refund button so if we choose for example if we choose um, seven seven ring it inside and we press one C let's for, say for the sake of argument and if you press the refund button then that's the refund output and it will refund all the money and the system will go to zero again that's the basic idea of our system and it works fine and that's all. Thank you.